push real hard. This is what we used on our gray scales. Well, not not the, not the ebony pencil. I'm sorry. We used a six B on that, but this is this is even darker than that. Okay, so that's an ebony pencil. That's about as black as you can ask for with graphite. So that's charcoal. You see some of the powder raining down a little bit. You see the difference? So it's kind of almost night and day. And that's why people put up with a little bit of the, the mess of charcoal is because the drama is so much more intense with it, okay? Now, certain, certain kinds of things, certain mediums, if they are messy, pastels, charcoals that have a lot of powder, people have just found ways to either put a little scrap piece of paper under your hand when you're working, or they use what's called a mall stick, which is just a stick with a little pounce ball, a little like cushion ball on the end. You've probably seen this mm -hmm. when artists are painting. They have this stick and it has a little ball on the end and it rests against the painting or the drawing and then they can, they can lean their hand against it yeah. as a bridge so they're not actually putting their hand right in the uh, wet paint or, or in, in this case, powder. Uh, so there's little things you can do to mitigate the mess. Uh, maybe if you have a large area of black, save it for last. You know, so maybe you can kind of just think, okay, lot logistically, maybe I'll save the big black areas for the for the end. You know, after I've done all the little detail areas, because if you did that first, you'd probably be putting your hand in it all the time. So little little things you can kind of do to go, oh, okay, I can I can just work with this slightly messier medium and just find ways to, you know, mitigate the, the smearing and, and the, the mess. There's also spray fixative. The, the spray fixative that you have, it says workable on the can. You could kind of do a drawing about maybe uh, halfway through and just kind of spray it with some fixative, let it dry for a few minutes and then continue to work. And that'll keep it from smearing too badly. You know, little things you can do like that too. Okay, anyway. So we have our vine charcoal, and then our pencil charcoal. And really, the only real difference with the stick charcoal is just that it's a fat version of the pencil. So if you wanted to just simply fill in an area a little more rapidly, it's the same. It's just like, pretend this is like an ultra-fine Sharpie, and this is like a big, thick magic marker Sharpie. Okay, it's still the same. Thing. It's just whatever weapon kind of, where well, this is a thin brush and this is a fat brush. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so this is actually a little different, but these are the same. Just whatever, you know, if you need a thick, a thin or a thick. Okay. Now, some people actually like the sticks because the pencils have a notorious reputation for breaking when you try to sharpen them. That's the only problem with charcoal. It's a softer medium. It's just carbon that's held together with a little uh, binder. So if you, you put it in a sharpener, it may just break on you, and you chew up half the pencil trying to get a, a point on it. So what you could do is, some people just say, you know what, I'll just switch to a stick, and maybe I'll just whittle a little point down on the stick, and then I, I don't have to worry about it breaking on me all the time. You know. So, some people just prefer one over the other. So. Okay, all right, that's, that's pretty much it. All right. So we're gonna try our little wine bottle with some grapes. And uh, so, don't panic. <laughs> I mean, glass has its challenges, I'm not going to kid you, but I, I kind of made your life not too bad with mostly tapered glasses, which usually are not as bad with sparkle reflections go. Um, but if you stare at glass long enough, you know, you can see yourself in it, you can see the surrounding objects in it, you know, there's all kinds of stuff going on. You really just want to let that go. And you're just kind of doing like a impression of a glass bottle. You know, really, you don't have to be this, this excruciating with all the detail. 
Well, that's true with most drawing that you do. You kind of edit a little bit with your eyes and sort of decide, you know, what what do I really want to try to represent, and, and what can I kind of let go. But that's always sort of the artist's dilemma in some ways. You know, you can't maybe capture unless you're one of these like hyper hyper realists. You know, you're just kind of always sort of doing an impression of what you see. Anyway. You know, you're, you're making decisions about what what's worth showing and maybe what's you know maybe what's less important you know, something like that. All right, we do have some challenges. We've got you know the wine bottles have labels on them, and the labels have words and such. Maybe little drawings or little pictures on them or something. Again. You don't have to kill yourself with stuff like this, but you'd be surprised if you just, the, the words that you can read, my, my rule of thumb is if I can read it from like three or four feet away, it's, it's worth maybe actually trying to write the word, you know? But if, if I can't really read it, you know how text looks from a distance? Um, you know how like you can just represent text with like squiggles, or you can kind of do like, you know, like lines look like words from a distance. So you can kind of BS it, <laughs> the, the small, the small stuff, right? So you would only really try, and, and if when you do the big words, you can put a couple of like light guidelines down, and then, you know, try to write, you know, you have to have master. Uh, you know, just to kind of, you know, put something on the label. And then the rest of the words or anything else can just be lines or squiggles, okay? Uh, or any little pictures that you have, you can just, you'd be surprised if you just smudge something with your finger. You know, that kind of hides a world of sin. <laughs> so I'll, I'll leave how anal you want to be with this up to your level of... Uh, ability. Uh, uh, so, you know, sorry. I, I mean, if you want to try to render things, I'm not going to stop you, but I'm not requiring that you kill yourself with this. Um, so, you'd be surprised that instead of just leaving the, the label completely white and blank and like panicking and like, oh, I can't do any of this, you'd be surprised. Like, you see with this, it's like a big A. And it has like an S. You know, it's not as bad as you think. And you don't have to bother with any of this other nonsense, you know. Just by putting a little something on the label just tells the viewer that there's, you know, there's something here rather than just leaving it blank. Now, I guess you could, when you get your wine bottle label, you could go, nope. <laughs> I guess you could turn it around to the back. Can't see nothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you call fourth dimensional thing. <laughs> but then you'll be required to actually write every one of the Exactly. Yeah. That'll, be your, that'll be your punishment for saying, oh, I know, I know a way around this. <laughs> if you are pregnant, please do not. Uh, right? <laughs> Sergeant General Warning. Right. Right. A note from your doctor saying you can't do any kind of wine bottle label rendering uh, for your health. Okay. Um, so, you know, most of these have like a kind of a main brand, although some of them are kind of faded a little bit, but, but they have like a main brand that's kind of a more bold type and then, you know, what type of wine and others, not other stuff is just more. So again, those can be squiggles or you don't even have to bother with some of the small stuff at all. Um, but again, it's just rather than just putting an empty rectangle or you know nothing on it um, so it's not it's more it's worse in your mind than it is actually trying to do uh, okay I'll pull the and the grapes I have a super simple method for doing grapes and you'd be surprised at how how easy that is to do. 